This is the best bagel in New York City. Mm. New York is known for their incredible world-renowned bagels. And so these are the top five bagel spots you must try in the city. So first up, we are at my local bagel shop. This place right here called Zucker's. It's in my opinion, one of the best. And we are here with one of my favorite people as well. Lexi! Why, hello there! Limitless. <laughs> Lexi has the Guinness World Record for being the youngest person to travel to every country. And she knows a good bagel when she tries one. So exactly. we'll see how so. this compares to other countries. We'll see, we'll see. Lexi, have you ever had a New York City bagel before? I've never had one of these before. This so. is going to change your life. Ooh, the bacon, the chicken, this tomato looks amazing. Wow, it's definitely one of the best bagels I've ever had. Comparatively to all the bagels that you've had around the world, how does this one compare? It's definitely dominating the bagel, the bagel market, I think. There's some honey Dijon mustard inside of it as well. It's almost like the bagel is like, uh, like getting kind of... So it's like chewy on the inside or...? Yeah, exactly. So this bagel is kind of chewy on the inside too, which makes it so much better. It's a little bit warm still. Oh. That was a really pretty good bagel. Zucker's does mess around. Yeah, the location that we went to of Zucker's was right here on 23rd Street, which I highly recommend because then you can come across the street here to Madison Square Park and enjoy your bagel with a view and do some people watching. So Lexi lives in LA, but one of the best things to do here, as I'm sure in LA too, some good people watching. Ah uh, yes, many, many birds here that are willing to take bites of your bagels if you offer it to them. Got some good ambiance for each meal, which is always very important. And uh, this seems to be a staple of the New Yorker culture here. So I'm glad to finally get to partake in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I went with the staple. This is the lox and cream cheese. Come to New York, here's what you gotta get. Fortunately, Lexi over here isn't big into fish. Mm -hmm. But, but we still got like a chicken bacon sandwich mix over here, which is nice as well as an alternative. But this does look really good. I got something for all your needs. <laughs> Bagel for everyone. Bagels for everyone. <laughs> This is amazing. So I ordered all of this stuff off of the Gold Belly website, and three days later, it's here. Gold Belly allows you to order famous dishes from all around the nation directly to your home. Also, Gold Belly is a family-owned business and empowers other local family-owned restaurants to grow their reach and find a new vertical for expansion. So one of my favorite meals is a good old-fashioned classic lobster roll. And one of the best places to get it is from the Clam Shack in Maine. It's honestly worth the trek from New York City all the way to Maine just to get one of their delicious lobster rolls. And thanks to our friends at Gold Belly, we no longer have to make that trek and can get it delivered directly to our home. I still have no idea how they do this, but I'm so glad they do it. So for this Gold Belly order, I went with the Clam Shack lobster roll from Maine, also went with Pat's Philly cheesesteaks from Philly, as well as Zucker bagels from here in New York City. Can never have enough New York City bagels. I don't think I could be much happier right now. The fact that I'm eating a Clam Shack lobster roll all the way from Maine in the comfort of my New York City apartment. This makes it taste 10 times better. <laughs> this is honestly amazing. I'm not just saying that because I have to. I really mean it. Mmm. Gold Belly isn't just great for special occasions and gifts. It's perfect for date nights, hometown cravings, or traveling with your taste buds. Gold Belly truly is a one-of-a-kind experience, and I have no clue how they logistically figured this out, but I am so glad that they did. So if you guys want to try out Gold Belly and shop the products, then you can click the link down below. Now back to more bagels. So we just made it here to one of my personal favorite spots, the Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company. It's located here in Greenwich Village, right by NYU and Washington Square Park and overall just a great place to come hang out and eat some good bagels. And I'm here with no other than... Assistant Seda. <laughs> Seda! Seda is from Turkey, knows a good bagel when she sees one. Obviously. 
obviously. Well, let's get in there. Let's have you go. have you eaten breakfast today? No. I woke up like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I am a sucker for a bagel where it's just hard and toasted on the outside but then soft and chewy on the inside. And this place does a phenomenal job with that. Since as you guys saw, they have that giant oven where they make all of their bagels so fresh. This bagel right here was probably cooked 30 minutes ago. It's as fresh as you can get here in New York City. Also, the, the cream cheese is pretty good. As you can tell, it's all over Seta's face. <laughs> it's affordable, it tasted amazing, it's very filling, and it's very convenient, especially if you go to New School or NYU or any other college around here. So, 100% recommend. Yeah, I agree. And if you're maybe someone who is a tourist just visiting the city, then I do recommend this place as well because there's so many other things to do in this part of town, and this is just a great place to uh, start your day. From here, you can go to Washington Square Park, sit, look at the fountain. It's nice. And the coffee tastes good too. Coffee's good, the bagel's even better. That's me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> How do you like the bagel? Oh, it's delicious. I go here all the time. It's the best bagel, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> and they make it big too. They don't like, they don't yeah. flake you on the, on the size at all. Very filling bagel for sure. Can I be in the video? You wanna say what's up? What's up guys? This is a fantastic bagel. I come here all the time, would totally recommend. What do you think of the bagel? NYC pigeons, no. A good bagel when they taste one. I know this video is supposed to be on best bagels, but now it's on best pigeons. Cause look at how cool oh this one is. I'm sorry. I've never seen that kind of pigeon before. Now for the third and final spot for today, we are at the iconic and famous Russ and Daughters. This spot has been here for over a hundred years and is a staple if you come here to New York City. One of my personal favorites. Also, one thing to note if you do come here, even right now, it is a weekday at around 3 p.m. and the line is going down the block. So definitely recommend to come early and maybe even place your order for pickup if you do want to avoid this long line. And to join us, we have Mr. What's up? Ephraim. Directly from Italy. I'm here. Ephraim is from Italy. Oh yeah. And we're gonna see how this compares to an Italian bagel. I'm Do they have bagels? No, in Italy? we don't have much. Like sometimes in like panetteria we have some, but no, not not as usual. So I'm ready. You're in for a real treat then because this place is one of the most iconic, famous places to come in New York it's City. It's very old, like Italian places, right? It's like a hundred years old. Hundred years old. That's great. Yeah, actually, my grandfather used to work in this area and used to come to this place right that's here. That's so cool. And so now that's you're how here. old it is, exactly. Even though this is my third bagel for the day, this one I have been the most excited for. Look at just how handsome this bagel is. That is one handsome it bagel. It smells amazing. It's. I, I can't wait to try it. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, but let's do it. In Italian, we say buonissimo. Mm. Buonissimo. Honestly, it's so good. If you live here in New York City, definitely somewhere that you should go at least once. I don't know if it makes her being the best daily bagel spot to go to, but if you're traveling here, you have to come to Russ and Daughters. It's also in a great location as well, right on Housen Street in the Lower East Side and just makes for a classic bagel that represents New York in such a good way. So if you're looking for a good New York City bagel, this will not let you down. Mm-hmm. Bonissimo. So for this next place, we just came over the Brooklyn Bridge to here at the bagel store. But now we're here at Park Slope, which is such a quaint area to come to. Somewhere I don't come too much. So even if you are a local New Yorker that lives in Manhattan, this is a, a cool experience to come across the bridge, come to Park Slope and check out the bagel store. Since they are known for the original famous rainbow bagel, which I'm going to be eating with Miss Haley. Have you ever had the famous rainbow bagel? No, I haven't. You are in for a treat. I'm so excited. As you can tell, it looks like an actual literal treat. It looks like a lollipop. I wonder if it tastes like a rainbow. We will find out. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs>
Are you ready for this? There's sprinkles on it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? No. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I don't want to eat it. I've never seen something so pretty in my life. Come here, I'm, the bagel. I, I'm talking about the bagel. <laughs> Does it taste like the rainbow? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It tastes like cake. This is not a bagel. <laughs> is it cream cheese? That's cream cheese. Mm -mm. Like funfetti. Mm-hmm. Where is it? It is the most beautiful bagel I've ever seen in my life. That's why it's coined the most beautiful bagel in the world. How did you think of doing this whole entire contraption? 20 years ago, I started working with... I've been around flour and water my entire life since I was about 12 years old. You have to keep your dream. I love Even that. if nobody's buying it. Yep. And nobody was buying it. You got a vision, you got a vision, follow it. Yep. You only have one life to live. I've never met anyone who's so passionate about bagels. Scott, what a cool guy. I had no idea that he was gonna be here and just be this cool and welcoming. Like, as soon as he saw us, he's like, come on in guys, get the rainbow bagel. And I cannot wait to try this now after hearing the story of how this guy came up with this idea 20 years ago. He also told me inside how for the first 15 years, it was a complete failure. And then social media just helped take it off. I have no idea what to expect right now. I don't know if this is going to taste like a normal bagel or like some type of birthday cake. Maybe somewhere in the middle. Mm. That was unlike anything I've ever had in my life. Honestly, before we came here, I thought that this was gonna be just a gimmick, but after trying it now, this is actually a very delicious bagel. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. And to even hear the story about it from the founder makes it taste even better. A lot of respect for this place. This is unbelievable. I feel like a little kid at a candy store. Now, I saved the best for last. This is my personal favorite bagel spot in the entire city. It is so delicious, and I have no idea how they do it, but I am with the man who does. This is Chris. He is the <laughs> owner you. and founder of Tompkins Square Bagel. Hey, guys. How did you guys create the perfect bagel? I feel like this is such an iconic place when you come to New York, especially for me. I always recommend this place because I feel like it's just that staple New York City bagel. Wow. How do you think it happened? <laughs> well, first, thank you very much. That's, that's very nice to hear. So I had a lot of restaurant experience under my belt, and I think that helped a lot with Tompkins. I tried to give it a sort of a restaurant feel. I tried to put a little more emphasis on hospitality and service. I felt that was lacking ambiance and bagel shops. I felt all that was lacking. How was it with this past year with COVID in 2020, with surviving in New York City, having to pay these high rents and labor costs? Was it difficult? Absolutely. It was super, super challenging. New York City is here as we know it right now because of immigrants. Like they did what they had to do. They put their lives at risk. They, they kept carried the city on their back. They, they delivered the food, they made the food, they kept things going. And I, I really feel like more than any credit I could get for like Tompkins and you know, great bagels and all this stuff, it's like, it's really all them. It's like all our bagel ingredients. And then this is like one of the ways that like yeah. Basically, like you can sweeten a bagel with sugar, which is really cheap and inexpensive, and it's kind of what most people will do. And this stuff is called barley malt, and it's a byproduct of molasses. So, this is what we use for a sweetener. It's like a hundred times more expensive than sugar. <laughs> this is a molasses byproduct. So, like when you make a molasses, um, this is kind of what's left over make rum with this stuff. This is the secret sauce? It's one of them. There's a whole bunch of tricks. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. That's that. how they do it. So guys, feast your eyes on the best bagel in New York City. So I went with the classic bacon, egg and cheese on an everything bagel. I got a everything bagel toasted with cream cheese and bacon. Is that a thing to get cream cheese with bacon? Yeah. That's e a thing? Even like, even better than this is like a bacon, egg and cheese with cream cheese. Whoa. Bacon, egg and cream cheese? No, no, cheese and cream cheese. So you get both. But I feel like the classic bacon, egg and cheese is such a staple in New York City. Where yeah. if you come here, like this is just, this is not gonna disappoint. My bagel brother. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mm -hmm. It's just so good. I don't know if you feel this way, but when I'm traveling and gone, I am dreaming about Tompkins Square Bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese. It's just something that has that everlasting feeling on your taste buds, and you just crave it so much when you're gone. It tastes like, like home. And there's very few places in New York City where like the food is worth the wait. Mm -hmm. This is one of those places where the food is worth the wait. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and to comment any bagel places I may have missed. See you next week.